Saxon Gymnasium, the national anthem. And announced now for both ball clubs in this ball game tonight. First. Marshall Redskins will be introduced first. Alan Tucker get a starting call at guard. Chris Kleinschmidt, the other starting call tonight at the guard position for Marshall. Michael Howard, number 34, gets a call at a forward position. Anthony Miller, the other forward. John Tucker getting the call at the center position tonight for the Marshall Redskins. Only one senior in that starting lineup, Paul. One senior. That would be Alan Tucker. The Saxons to be introduced now. Jason Kaiser gets the starting call for the Saxons tonight. Chris Youngs will start as well. Travis Williams. Eric Haynes gets the start. And Ben Robb. The uh, normal starting lineup for the Saxons, the past few games anyway. Kaiser, Young, Williams, Robb, and Haynes. And we'll see how the Saxons can bounce back from that tough loss at Hillsdale on Tuesday night. I think these kids have a lot of character, and this is a home game in the Twin Valley. Very important for the Saxons to get this win tonight. Well, the Marshall Redskins dressed in their dark road uniforms. Dark, you don't get much darker than that. They're black, white numerals, and some red trim out there. And the Saxons in their home whites, yellow numerals, and, excuse me, gold numerals, and uh, the blue trim. Both teams on the floor now ready for the uh, center start. Rob and Tucker. John Tucker in the center circle for Marshall. The tip is up and comes down to the Marshall Redskins, who will be working from right to left on your radio dial. And Alan Tucker has the ball, dishes off to Tony Miller. Miller goes around right side, hands it off to Kleinschmidt. Kleinschmidt, a free throw line jumper, and it's in. For the first two points of the night, 2 nothing, Marshall. Saxons on their first offensive trip down the floor. Out the top of the key, Kaiser has it. Bounce pass over on the right side. They go to Williams. Williams goes down baseline, loses the handle on it, out of bounds, tipped out off the fingertips of Kleinschmidt, who tried to take it away and ended up pushing it out. Pulling the trigger on the baseline. Ben Robb for the Saxons. Gets it into Young. Young brings it up right wing. Top of the key now. They go to Williams. Williams looks into the corner. Finds Young, he eyes the three-pointer, thinks better of it. Back to the top, they go to Williams. Williams, loose ball in the deck, picked up by Marshall. Kleinschmidt has it, tries to feed it inside, and saving it from going out of bounds is Tucker. They work it around now, top of the key, Howard has it. Howard takes it in the paint, puts it up and in. That was a nice move. He drove to the right, and put it up one-handed on the fly. Saxons bring it down, shot in the air off the window by Williams, doesn't fall, put back, no good. Tipped around, tipped around, out of bounds. The official says a Saxon basketball. Both teams playing a man-to-man -man defense to start this game. Marshall out to a quick 4-0 lead. Saxons with the basketball. Top of the key, they go to Williams. Williams passes out right side. Over to Young. Back up top, they go to Williams. Williams on the left side now. Back up to Williams. Free throw, our top of the key jumper. No good. Tipped around. Who's getting the rebound? Well, Haynes gets it, puts it back up and in. That was actually the third shot for the Saxons on that trip down. They finally get on the board, 4-2. Marshall with the lead and the basketball. Pressure applied by the Saxons. Oh, a turnover. Over yes. and back. No, turnover. They threw it out of bounds. Good pressure by the Saxon defense to force that turnover right at the half court line. Saxon will have it midcourt, and they feed it in and get it into Kaiser. Kaiser, triple try in the air off the fingertips of number 50. That's Ben Robb. He cans the triple, and the Saxons take the lead. That was a nice shot. 5-4 Saxons. Marshall with the basketball. Marshall is in a zone. I correct myself. They're playing a zone. 2-3 zone. Hastings is in a straight man-to-man -man trying to create some pressure and overplay. Marshall with the basketball uh, out in front of their bench. 
Miller feeds it in, and they bring it back up across midcourt. As Tucker has it, Allen Tucker, top of the key, drives the paint, puts it up off the window, and we're going to get a charging foul against Martin. A little too much one-on-one -on -one there for Allen Tucker. First foul of the night. 5-4, Saxon lead. Hastings basketball, 5.55 to play in the opening period. Driving the baseline, taking it down to the window, tries to get a shot off. Ball is uh, stripped out of bounds, and Kaiser didn't get his opportunity at the window. But Saxon still have the basketball baseline. Triple try in the air. It's off the rim. No good for Young. Stop the action. Ball tipped out on the attempt for the rebound, and it'll be a Saxon basketball. Rob has it, gets it in. Back top of the key to Williams now. Williams over on the right side to Young. Young takes it down, puts it up from 10 on the right side and in. It's a nice move. Went to the baseline and put up about a 10-footer. Nice move by Chris Young. Saxons on front, 7-4. Marshall basketball again. A full court press apply by the Saxons. And they come across the timeline. They being the Marshall Redskins. Kleinschmidt has it. Almost loses the handle on it. As trying to tip it away from him was Kaiser. And the uh, Redskins will have it out midcourt. They feed it in. They're trying to run a weave out there, back and forth, trying to pick off the Hastings defenders. Working it around, and Marshall looking for a shot, taking it down low. It's in the air, 10-footer on the right side, doesn't fall. Tipped around, Saxon gets the rebound. Howard had put that one up. Saxon's come down, Williams drives for the lane, and stopped the action. As going up for the shot, Williams is fouled. Uh, Travis made a nice move right down the center of the floor and drew the foul. That's one thing that Travis does well. He goes well to the basket. He's got a good, quick first step, and that time he went right to the hoop and got fouled. Williams at the line for two. The first is up, and off the rim, no. Williams at the 15-foot line for his second, and even five minutes on the clock. It's up and in. So Williams collects his first of the night. It's an 8-4 Saxon lead. Ooh, well, there's a reach-in foul. And he got caught. On the upbound. Foul on the Saxons. Chris Young, I think. Chris okay. Young. That's right. His first. Team first. Marshall basketball. As Alan Tucker has it. Top of the key. They feed it down low. Nice feed down there. Getting the shot off is Howard, but Showered is blocked. Hastings, not cleanly. Uh, Hastings plays that overplay man-to-man -man defense, and that time the Marshall player uh, number 34 went back door. Michael Howard went back door. He was wide open for a clear shot at the, at the basket. Howard at the line. He cans the first. Substitution coming in for the Saxons now. Fred Giles comes in. And Williams goes out. Howard at the line. Eyes the hoop. It's in the air. This one is good as well. Eight to six. Saxons. Hastings basketball. Nice bounce pass to Haynes. And Haynes, oh, he blew the shot. Beautiful feed to Haynes. Driving towards the window, and he just rolled it up a little bit too easily. Hastings got the ball up quickly after the free throw. Found themselves on a, with a two-on-one fast break, and Eric Haynes doesn't miss a shot like that very often. He just blew the layup. And Chris Youngs goes to the charity stripe to shoot two. A lot of two-shot fouls so far. It's one thing the Saxons had trouble with the Hills that was shooting free throws. We'll see how they do tonight. Well, Young uh, hits that one. Another one coming. And that's good as well. That's a good start. 10-6. to six. Hastings with the lead. Marshall with the basketball right now. Allen Tunker brings it across the line, goes between the rings. There's a trap. To Miller. There's a trap. Trapping defense causes steal. Saxons pick it off, take it away, and a putback shot is good for number 34. That's Chris Young. He has six in the ball game. And the Saxons have a 12-6 lead. Marshall with the ball. Out on the right side. Kleinschmidt has it in the corner. He's going to get trapped in there, but he gets it out. Gets it out to Tucker. Tucker brings it down long. Pass picked off by the Saxons. 
And up the floor, Giles has it. Giles dishes off to Haynes. They work it around now in the paint. Shot in the air, canned by number 24, Jason Kaiser. But this man-to-man -man defense is causing Marshall fits. Uh, Hastings has gotten two straight steals now off their defensive pressure. Doing a nice job playing that man-to-man. -man. 14 to six, Saxon's in front. Marshall looking for a shot. They go down low inside and is tipped out of bounds. There's another turnover with that man-to-man -man defense. They, they tried to get it in down low to the big man and it went off his hands because they had two guys on him. 6-5, John Tucker. Saxons bring it up. Set their offense. Over to Kaiser. Kaiser triple try in the air. Doesn't fall. Out of bounds. Saxon ball. Hastings are getting a lot of second shots, too, Paul. Off uh, missed their shots. They're getting the ball back for a second chance. Good job on the rebounding for the Saxons so far tonight. Sherry's in the ball game too. Shot put up for Good. Rob doesn't fall. He gets a put back. This one doesn't fall. Tipped around, tipped around, and Marshall comes away with it this time. They're getting second chance opportunities. They're gonna, they're hustling. Marshall with it in the right corner. Howard has it. Back up top to go down to Allen Tucker. Over to Howard, right side. Bounce pass down low to that, Big John Tucker, and Tucker cans it from underneath. That's a nice play. They set up low and had a nice easy bucket out of that one. First, first two points of the night for the big guy. And on the return trip up the floor, stop on the action. Official indicating personal foul. Hastings isn't wasting any time after a missed shot or a free throw. They're getting up and trying to fast break off it. They're getting some opportunities to either get fouled or make a basket. Ben Hughes into the contest now for Hastings. As is Dan Sherry. And at the charity stripe is Jason Kaiser. First is up and no good. Kaiser at the line, dribbles three or four times, shot it up and off the back of the rim, no good. Skying for the rebound is Alan Tucker. He brings it away. There's another turnover. That pass, the Saxons pick it off. Up the floor in the paint. Rob, two points off the window. Well, that was coast to coast. He got the rebound, brought it up, laid it up. Nobody stopped him. What a nice play with a left hand, too. A nice play by Ben Rob. 16-8, Saxons in front. Marshall with the basketball. 2-12 in the game. There's another the steal. Another steal for the Saxons. Taking it to the window and two points for Fred Childs. And a timeout indicated for the Marshall Redskins with a good day. I'm out on the radio with a score. Hastings 18, Marshall 8. This is WBCH Sports. That Blankenstein Pontiac Goals GMC in Hastings is your hometown headquarters for great deals. Why not see them soon? Back to the Saxon Gymnasium at Hastings High School. 18-8, Saxons in front with two minutes to play in the first. Marshall with the basketball, bringing it down the right side. Oh, the shot is blocked out of bounds. It'll remain a Marshall basketball. I think Ben Robb got a hand on that I think one. that was Ben? Yep. Wasn't quite sure. A couple of Saxon players in the neighborhood. Nice block anyway. There's another turnover. Another turnover. That's going to be a killer for the Marshall Redskins tonight. Robb brings it down, goes down low. Dishes it back out. Top of the key to go to Giles. Shot in the air. A two-pointer off the window doesn't fall for Tabirin. Saxons get the rebound. Hughes puts one up, doesn't fall. Underneath, Rob with a putback doesn't fall. Personal foul, the big guy, John Tucker. There's three rebounds off missed shots for the Saxons. They are really hustling under there. And, and the thing is, they're, they're, they're not any bigger than Marshall. Marshall's got some big kids in there. It's just that we're all hustling them right now. Rob at the stripe for two. First is up and off the rim, no. Saxon struggling at the line just like they did at Hillsdale. And they're good free throw shooters. They're just kind of in a, in a mid-season slump here with the free throw. They'll get it straightened out. Rob at the, sec at the line for his second. It is up and this one is in. The whistle blows, a substitution coming in for the Saxons. As Mike Williams will enter the game and Rob comes out. 
Marshall basketball as they bring it up floor. Work their offense. Steely into the game now. Shot put up from the right side, doesn't fall. Ball tipped around, picked up by the Marshall Redskins. In the paint, dish it off to the left side. Back up to Allen Tucker, free throw line. Tucker brings it out between the rings. Tries to set the offense. Steely has it. Another turnover. Another turnover for the Skins. Saxons bring it down. Pass attempted from uh, Tiburon out to the left side. It's tipped out of bounds. It'll be a Marshall basketball. That's the uh, first turnover for the Saxons. Under a minute to play in the period. The opening period of tonight's ball game. Steely has it. Gets it out to Howard. Howard takes it down low. Pass tipped away. That's a nice knock away by Ben Hughes that time. Got right in the middle of the action. Got his hand on it. Knocked it out of bounds. Ben's made a lot of progress since last year. And he's playing pretty well. Marshall with the basketball. 41 seconds to play in the period. Here's that weave offense again. Back and forth trying to pick off the Saxons. Personal foul indicated against the Saxons. Sherry picks up the foul. Marshall basketball. 19 to 8. Saxons with a lead. Nice. And <laughs> Ben Hughes picks one away. Saxons come down, set the offense, and a traveling violation will be charged against the Saxons. That's two possessions in a row for the Saxons that have ended up in a trail, right? I'm sure Coach Schill, Schills isn't pleased with that. But Coach Morrison has to be even more displeased with the turnovers that his Redskins have had tonight. That's for sure. Marshall with the basketball right now. Ten seconds, they'll go for that last one. You would think, anyway. Shot is up. It in! Driving hard to the basket. Number 30, Alan Tucker cans it. Desperation shot at the buzzer for the Saxons. Doesn't fall. We'll end the period with a score. The Saxons 19, Marshall 10. This is WBCH Sports. Today Today's high tech entry. Paul Ballinger and Bernie Weller from Hastings High School on a Friday night. High school hoops for you here on BCH. Saxons enter the period with a 19 to 10 lead and the basketball. Rob launches a triple try and they can it from the left side. He can shoot. You leave him open, he's going to can it. That was a nice setup and a nice shot. Saxons out front, 22 10 now. Marshall with the basketball. They're doing that weave again, and then they try to go back door off of it. Yeah, see there, he's open. Triple try in the air for Marshall. Over the rim, no good. That went off the fingertips of Cavaluna. Saxons come away with the board this time. Williams drives the paint, passes off to Rob. Back out, shot in the air, off the window. Two points for Chris Young. He hasn't missed yet. Having a nice night, 24-10. Saxon's out to a comfortable second quarter lead. Cavaluna with a the basketball. They go down low. Shot underneath. Shot is up and in for Steely. And he is a football player in a basketball player uniform. He is a good-sized young lad. He's and Eric, a... Eric Haynes got beat on that one, and that's unusual. Haynes with the ball, passes off, back up top they go, shot in the air, triple try, in for number 34, Young. Hey, he hadn't missed yet, coach, I'm telling you, he's tough. 27 to 12. Saxons have got it in cruise control now. And this Marshall team really isn't that bad. They've got some good young players in there. They're just uh, trying to get themselves together, but they've got some good looking players here. They could still get back in this ball game. Going down baseline, pass it back up to Steely, who puts it up and in. It's two for two for him. Saxon ball, Williams drives it, puts it up, no. Steely gets the rebound. We're getting a little sloppy, coach, and uh, I think we need to uh, so slow it down and get some good shots here. Howard has it. Right side, launches it, two-point try, no good. Rob gets the rebound. Long pass up the floor to Williams. Williams drives around a Marshall defender into the window and in. Boy, he just accelerated and blew by. He was on one-on-one, -on -one and the guy was even with him, and Travis just put it in high gear and went to the hoop and scored it. 
29 to 14. Hastings out in front. Cavaluna with the basketball. Gets it out now to Winterstein. And the Saxons steal one away. Williams takes it. Bounce pass down low. Up and in. Two points and a foul. Kaiser cans that one. Jason that time was the trailer after Travis stole the ball. He created a two-on-one. Travis made a nice dish, and Kaiser went up for the layup, made it, and got fouled. A good team play that time with a dish off by Travis. Kaiser goes to the line. Here's Saxon's a 31-14 leader in this ballgame. Kaiser shot is up and in. It's good to see him make the free throws. That's uh, big on Shills, Coach Shills' uh, agenda tonight to make those free throws. Loose ball stolen away by the Saxons. Williams bounce pass loose on the deck. Scrambling, scrambling, out of bounds, Saxon ball. There's another turnover. Two steals for Travis Williams. In a row. He's just taking the ball away off the dribble out front. Ben Robb launches a triple try. Hughes gets the rebound of the bad shot, the missed shot. Kaiser puts a sh shot up, it doesn't fall, and Marshall finally gets the rebound. Alan Tucker with it, tries to bounce pass down to Steely, but he hits it off the foot of Ben Hughes. Saxon basketball on the side. Marshall tries to create some uh, movement out front and then penetrate to the basket. Alan Tucker between the rings. Brings it down right side. Tucker puts it up. It's over the rim, no. Tipped around, Marshall gets the rebound. Putting it back up. Shot doesn't fall for Howard. Stop the action. Personal foul. Well, no, no. well. Davey Hart's kind of smiling down underneath here. There's something's wrong with the scoreboard here. Anyway, the refs are smiling. He's they did stop the action, but we don't know what it's about. Dave Hart's refereeing today, one of the best referees in the state of Michigan. His son plays at Michigan State. Back to action now. Marshall basketball. Tucker has it. Gets it back up now to Winterstein. Winterstein goes right side. Puts it up. A two-pointer in the air, and it's in. 32-14. Saxons with the lead in the basketball. They work it around. Triple try launched. Over the rim, no good. Underneath, no traveling, traveling violation. Called against Ben Robb. Nice rebound, though. Took one too many steps under there. 4-22 in the second period. Hastings still in their man-to-man -man defense, overplay defense, trying to make it tough for Marshall to score. Stop the action. Yep, something's wrong with the scoreboard. It's either not working or... There's no foul. There's no... Not, oh, I'm not sure what the problem is. Brand, brand new scoreboards. That's two <laughs> whistles in a row. We don't know what's going on. I've never seen this before. They're making some substitutions, but they just stopped it, did nothing, and then gave Marshall the ball back. I, I've never seen this before, Paul. I'm confused. That's a new rule, I think. I'm not <laughs> I <say sure>. must <laughs> Marshall basketball. Coming up top of the key, Winterstein has it. Taking it into the paint, the shot is up, it's off, no good. Saxons get the rebound as Williams comes up with it, drives it down in the paint, passes off at the last second to Hughes. And Hughes couldn't quite get the handle on it, it looks like from here anyway, and it goes out of bounds. Another fast break opportunity went awry, but that's still a good that they had that fast break. Right side, Cavaluna, top of the key. Ball is tipped over the midcourt line and stopped the action. Looks like a personal foul may coming up to Williams. Finally, we get something called here. Cavaluna is the freshman, the ninth grader, number uh, 22. <laughs> Cavaluna will feed uh, in from the midcourt on the other side of the gymnasium. He gets it in to Alan Tucker. Tucker comes across the line. Back down pass now to Kleinschmidt. Free throw line right. Kleinschmidt takes it to the free throw line. Dishes it back up between the rings to Cavaluna. 
Bounce pass down low. Scramble on the deck. Hughes comes away with it. That was a nice pass by the freshman down low. They just couldn't control it down in the box. Saxon's working around. Giles down low to Hughes. Hughes puts it up from eight on the right side. Doesn't fall. Getting the rebound. Put back over the rim. Doesn't fall for Sherry. And Marshall gets the board and come up. Hastings is passing the ball very well around that perimeter against his zone. Shot is launched by Tucker from the right side. Doesn't fall. Saxon's rebound. Come down, set up. Haynes underneath. Puts it up off the window gently and down. Nice pass, nice, Giles. Nice pass to find the open man underneath the basket. Haynes is tough down low, too. You get him the ball there, he's going to make it 90% of the time. 34-16. to 16. Saxon's out in front. Allen Tucker between the rings. Free throw line right over to Howard. In the paint, shot is in the air for John Tucker at in. That was a nice play, too, by Marshall that time to get it down low. Between the rings, Giles has it. Passes back out to, to Buren. They go down in the corner, going down baseline. Now pass back up top. Triple try launched. And it's canned. All oh, net for Fred Giles. Yeah, Hastings has got a lot of open shots against his zone defense. Uh, Marshall just didn't quick enough to go out there and stop all the shots. So Hastings is getting a lot of shots, and they're getting the rebounds. Shot from the right side is in for Kleinschmidt. 37 to 20. Marshall's starting to get a lot of shots, too, off the man to man of Hastings. Shot launched from the right side for the Saxons. Mike Tiburon, this is becoming a shooting fast now. 39 to 20. This has the makings of a high scoring game for the Saxons, anyway. Down low on the baseline, Howard tries to get one away. It doesn't fall, but a personal foul will be sending into the free throw line. Well, that time Marshall was able to penetrate to the baseline. They drove the baseline. Uh, uh, 34, Michael. Michael Howard went up with a with the ball and got fouled. So Marshall's getting a lot of close in shots all of a sudden. That man-to-man -man defense of Hastings is starting to break down. Two shot foul for the Redskins. Howard's first is up and in. That was a hard one, too. Howard second. A little easier touch in all net. 39-22. Saxons in front. And they have the basketball. They go inside. Turnaround jumper from 10. For Mike Williams. That was a nice play. Right in the lane and up, up for a nice 15-footer. Beautiful shot. Free throw line right, shot put up by Kleinschmidt, doesn't fall. Getting the rebound is Howard, it doesn't fall. The Marshall Redskins get another chance on the rebound. Shot is put up for Kleinschmidt, doesn't fall. And the Saxons come away with the board this time. As Young has it, loses the handle on it in the paint. The official stops the action, says it's off the fingertips of the Marshall Redskins. That was another fast break. Chris Young tried to dump it off to his teammate on the wing, and it just uh, didn't get through. Passes in, fed in, top of the key to Giles between the rings. Under 45 seconds now in the half. Saxons set the offense looking for a last shot, it looks like. You bet. They got a double high post with two men out front. And Taking it in and out. Haynes has got it right. Exactly. A double high post with a guy down underneath. That's what they're trying to sit on the ball for the last shot. They go down low. Shot up from the right side and in for Williams. Leaving 15 seconds for the Marshall Redskins to score. That was set up nicely, although he forced a shot and it went in. Skins passed down inside. Picked off by the Saxons. Another skins turnover at the buzzer. Shot launched in! Holy cow! Well, I'll tell you. Chris Young got the ball outside the three-point arc and just off balance, falling on one leg, threw it up off the board and in at the buzzer. It was uh, one of those shots that you want to maybe put on. Did you see that on Channel 8? Yeah.
Yamaha's new VMAX 4 from MC Supply in Hastings? You'll experience the sensation of pegging the throttle and blasting across the frozen lake, knocking the thermos off all your buddies. You'll feel what it's like taking a hairpin turn on some winding backwards trail, sticking to the snow like Velcro, thanks to the VMAX's new linear balance chassis. Choose from 10 hot-looking models, some available with electric start, reverse gear, two-up seating, or an extra-long 136-inch track. The Yamaha and MC Supply in South M37 and Hastings. The power to satisfy. I got the commercial on. Okay. We're back to action here at the uh, Saxon Gymnasium. While we uh, resume play, I'm going to ask Bernie to give you some, some quick numbers on the first half of tonight's ball game. Uh, mainly Chris Young, 14 points, leading the Saxons. Five for five from the field. Uh, ben Robb with nine. Marshall's just got a ton of people with four and six. Marshall begins the possession of the second half and a turnover already for the Marshall Redskins. It seems to be the way the game's going for Marshall. Tonight. That would have been the, the one of the key elements of the conversation at halftime in the Marshall locker room. Cut down on those turnovers. Maybe even be a little more patient. They're still in that zone defense. Saxon ball. Williams drives the lane, dishes it back out from Rob. Free throw line jumper, it's off, no good. So Rob gets the rebound, tries to dish it out, or maybe he was forced out, and stop the action. And with the zone defense, uh, you're supposed to get more rebounds. That's one reason why you play the zone, and Hastings is just getting rebound after rebound and putting up second shots. Saxon basketball. In the paint, the ball stripped away from Williams. The Redskins come down, put it up from inside, and it goes over the rim, no good. Saxons get the board, leading 46-22. No, it's a travel. A travel called against the Saxons. Turns it over to Marshall. The Saxons outscored Marshall 27-12. They're in the second quarter, 19-10 in the first to make it 46-22 at the half. We're still there right now. No score yet here in the second half of tonight's ball game. Marshall with the basketball. John Tucker. They get it out right side to Allen Tucker. Tucker brings in the paint. It's up over the rim. No good. Rebound. Young for Hastings. Rob comes up. Get it out free throw line right to Young. Over to Williams. Williams goes along baseline. Passes back up top. The Kaiser to Rob. Rob shot in. The paint is up and in. Boy, Jason Kaiser distributes the ball real well. He got the ball out at the top uh, point position and just found the open man in the lane, and Rob put it in for a nice little 15-footer. Taking it along baseline. Pass up high. Goes out about saved by the Skins to the Saxons. Coming down the floor, putting a shot up from Williams. A lot of passing going on. Williams' shot doesn't fall. Travis is bummed. He had an open layup and missed it. But that's a good example of Hastings' team play. They distribute the ball, find the open man. That's great basketball. Pass down low, up high. Ball tipped out of bounds, and they said it was going to be a Marshall Redskin. Tipped off by Haynes. Marshall yet to score here in the second half. Triple try is launched and in for Klein Schmidt, number 33. 48 25, Saxons in front. And the basketball. Rob has a 12 footer on the right side. Doesn't fall. Haynes gets the rebound, put back off the window, and in. Boy, these kids are playing great team basketball right now. Finding the open person and then getting the rebound and putting it back in on a miss. Howard goes down low. Baseline. Underhanded shot doesn't fall. Getting the rebound for the skins is Tucker. Block shot by Eric Haynes. Williams comes away. Down low to Rob. Rob misses the layup on the left side. Doesn't fall. Put back doesn't fall. Williams put back doesn't fall. Rebound Marshall. That was tough luck there. Putting it up and in, driving the lane, and a short layup. Mike Howard. 50 to 27. Saxons with the lead. Look at Jason Kaiser out there direct, directed tra traffic, setting people up, setting up against his zone. Haynes, a nice feed to Haynes underneath, and Haynes just picks an easy layup there. They, they, they caught Marshall in a mismatch out front. Haynes was open underneath, and they got him. 50-29, Saxons with the lead, Marshall basketball, but no, not Marshall basketball anymore, another turnover. 
See, they got a hand in between the pass there, knocked it off of Marshall Player. That's a good defensive play. Other action around the Twin Valley tonight. Sturgis at Lakeview, Hillsdale at Albion, and Coldwater at Harper Creek. Of course, Marshall here at Hastings. Pass tipped, saved by Williams. Williams tries to go inside. Tipped around. Who's going to come away with it? The Saxons control for the moment. Kaiser. Well, they're just ripping this zone apart. Williams, shot is launched. Triple try, Nova two-pointer for Young. Chris Young, six for six tonight. 54-27. Saxons, triple try launched for Marshall. It's short for Klenschmidt. Saxons pick up the ball. Williams has it. Free throw line right. Top of the key. They go to Young now. Young to Kaiser. Kaiser to Williams. Williams down low to Young. Corner. Back up to Williams. Drives the paint. Puts it up from in front. And in. Uh, this zone just isn't going to do it for Marshall. I don't know if they can play another defense, but the Hastings just picking it apart. Williams just drove right through everybody and laid it up. A lot of pushing and shoving going down underneath. On the right side, Alan Tucker. Saxons bring it down. Williams drives the lane. Goes up for the shot, and he is under the basket, and a foul. Boy, you hate to see that. A kid going up for a layup, getting pushed in the back. Got to be two shots. And a lot of substitutions right now. We're going to take a quick timeout here on WBCH Sports. Bender. You know, for all the talk about steroids and other drugs, the greatest danger faced by students still comes in the form of alcohol and tobacco. School activity programs provide kids a great alternative to all controlled substances, promote a drug-free lifestyle, and lifelong values. A public service message from the Michigan High School Athletic Association and WBCH Radio. Travis Williams cans the front free throw, misses the second. The Saxons get an attempt on the rebound, but doesn't fall, and rebound comes down to the Marshall Redskins, and they come down and set their offense. Looking, working it around. Going to start eyeing that three-point shot a little bit more. There's some good overplay man-to-man -man defense. Tucker down low underneath, shot over the rim, no good. Air rebound ball. Saxons. It's air ball, Paul. Air ball. That's good pressure defense for the Saxons. Williams puts one up. Left side and in. He can shoot. Travis can shoot. He's always been a good shooter. If you leave him open, watch out. 59 to 27. 221 to play in the third. Saxon's big lead on the visitors from Marshall. There's another turnover. Saxons take it down. Launching it. Uh, layup. It doesn't fall. Ball's tipped around. Good hustle. Nice hustle. Saxon's still playing hard. Williams launches a triple. It's off the rim, no. Getting the rebound, underneath. Shot is up from Sherry, it doesn't fall. Another putback shot doesn't fall. Saxon get another try. Four rebounds. Williams takes it to the paint, puts it up, dishes it off, check that. That shot doesn't fall, personal foul called Marshall. Saxons will go to the strike. You know, I'm really impressed with the way Mike Williams is playing. He's come off the bench now in the first and second half and created some, uh, he got two. Three for three in the first half for six points, and there he is causing problems, getting rebounds, uh, passing off, and now he's going to the line. So he's played a nice ball game tonight. It's Mike Williams. That's Travis's cousin, by the way. And my my favorite player is back into the game now, Steely. <laughs> Watching it from the free throw line. Uh, Steely against Ben. Ben against Steely. That'll be a matchup we should tune into a little bit here. Second one's up and good. I hope Ben doesn't get hurt. 6'7 against uh, 250 pounds. Here we go. <laughs> Alan Tucker holds high. Gets it off now to Kleinschmidt. Kleinschmidt free throw line jumper in it. 61, 29. There's some uh, full court press pressure by Marshall. Shot launched, triple try it looked like, didn't fall. Hey, Ben kept it alive. Making a valiant attempt, Fred Giles, to save it, but it couldn't quite do it. Marshall Mar skins basketball. Marshall's gone into a little full court pressure now, a little uh, zone trap defense, trying to pick up Hastings full court and get back into this thing. 1.16 to go in the third. 
Big, big lead for the Saxons over the Marshall Redskins. Kleinschmidt has it. Goes down low on the left side. Tries to pass back up. Picked off by the Saxons. Trying to make a move to the window is Fred Giles. Mm, I don't know about that call. Call it off Giles, but uh, well, he was closer than we were. I guess we'll let him get away with that one. Marshall basketball. Winterstein with it. That's That's the top. Oh, nice pick off for the Saxons. Dan Cherry. Cherry takes it to the window. His shot doesn't fall, but the putback. You can put into the column of number 12, Mike Tuburin. Well, you got to like the way that little Tuburin kid plays the ball game. He's small. And he's all over the place. Another bad pass picked off by the Saxons. Dan Cherry takes it to the window, puts it up, doesn't fall, stop the action. Well, he plays getting real sloppy here, but you know it's all going in the, in the favor of the Saxons. Marshall's just getting real sloppy with the passing, and Hastings is quick enough to pick him up, pick it off, and then lead into a fast break. Saxon ball fed from the baseline to the top of the key, and out on the right side, back up top they go. Giles. Right side now. Shot in the air from Sherry. It's short. Off the rim. Tipped out. There's that Mike Williams again getting right in there for that rebound, getting his hand on the ball. Saxon's ball. Hughes in the lane. Puts it up and in from in front. Nice move by Ben. At 6'7", he got the ball, caught it in the middle of the lane, turned around, and then hit a nice little uh, seven-foot jump shot. Marshall works it around. Going in the lane now. Shot is up. Layup attempt doesn't fall. And that's the buzzer for the end of the third quarter. And we'll end the third with the score. The Hastings Saxons 65. The Marshall Redskins 29. This is WBCH Sports. Hastings High School Gymnasium Friday night high school basketball. Hey, this is fun, Paul. I'm having a ball. I'm, this is fun. This, this is really what it's all about. Having you bet. Fun. Well, Friday night, what a place to be. 65-29, Saxons in front. I'll bet you the Marshall Redskins quite wouldn't <laughs> look at it like that right now. But. Well, you know, they're struggling, but they're young. They got their better days ahead of them. Of course, they had an excellent football season down there in Marshall. Oh, you bet. Well, they got a lot of memories of that. Triple try launched it in for number 12, Mike Tuburin. 68 to 29. Marshall basketball. Steely underneath. <laughs> nice stutter step shot. And up it in. He's got it. nice touch. He's 300 pounds. I, I got the word from the Marshall fans here. He's 300. And he's got nice touch when he shoots the ball. He's a nice one. Shot from the top. He's short. Barrett feels it. It's two in a row he lost. Oh, he's going to pass it this time. Sherry picks it up. Sherry has it in the left corner now. Nice bounce pass. Back up top to go. Giles. Holds inside. Oh, oh alone. Up and in. Number 40, Mike Williams. Boy, these kids work well together. That was an open man. And then he, Giles fouled him wide open underneath. 70. Uh, Saxons break the 70-point barrier. Marshall. Launches one from the left side. Steely in the paint. He tried to turn around jumper, and he had it tipped away. Saxon's turned it over on the upbound. And get it back over now to Kleinschmidt. Kleinschmidt cans a triple from the right side. Uh, in that last series of play, uh, our friend Steely just pushed Ben Hughes right out of the way on that one. And ben just couldn't hold his own on that one. Referees missed it. Shots from in the lane in front for Williams. Mike Williams cans it. There's another kid had missed tonight. Four for four from the field. And Marshall sets and works. Blocking foul. I'm a little surprised. I, you know, Marshall only lost to Harper by nine earlier this week. Harper was one of the preseason favorites in the Twin Valley, and they just haven't shown much here tonight. You know, the Saxons are just kind of mad about that Tuesday night loss, and they've come out with a vengeance. Kleinschmidt has it between the rings. Gets his right side now to Cavaluna. Oh, nice defense. Ben Robb, there's a turnover. Turnover picked up by the Saxons, and they come down. Grabbing the lane is Robb, and up and in. Seventy-four to thirty-four. Saxons with a big, big lead, and they're still playing hard. 
There's a little Mike Tabera knocking the ball out of bounds, overplaying this. Man-to-man -man defense is an overplay defense, and if you don't run backdoor cuts and a lot of screens, you're not going to be very effective at getting good shots against this man-to-man -man defense. Steely has it, right side. Kleinschmidt goes back up top to Winterstein. Winterstein free throw line left, down to Steely. Bends on him. There's almost another steal. Taking it down yep. low the baseline. The ball stripped away by the Saxons. Up the floor to Buren. Out to Giles between the rings. Giles to Hughes at the free throw line on the right side now to, to Buren. Free throw line right. In the corner to Rob on the right side. There's the penetration. Ten footer on the right side. Doesn't fall. Stop the action. Personal foul coming up. That was about the longest it took the Saxons to penetrate that zone defense. They worked it around. Giles finally drove into the middle and uh, had an open shot and was fouled. Two-shot foul coming up, so we'll take a quick time out here on WBCA Sports. You see it in our helpful people and in everything we do. Local people working together and there's nothing we can't do. National Bank of Hastings, when you need a banker, not just a bank. Local people working together, National Bank Hastings and on Chief Noonday Road, Gun Lake. National Bank of Hastings, when you need a banker, not just a bank. Member FDIC. Fred Giles cans the pair, gives the Saxons 76-34 lead. And the Marshall Redskins the basketball. 4.45 to play in the game. Nice block and tip from Chris Young. Tip the shot out of bounds. Marshall basketball is Tony Miller. Feeds it in. Back to Miller now. Miller free throw line left. Top of the key to Kleinschmidt. Back to Miller. On the right side now. Winterstein. Kleinschmidt triple try. Top of the key. No good. Fighting for the rebound. Haynes for the Saxons and Tucker for Marshall. On the possession, it will be a Marshall basketball. Mike Howard has it. 12 foot, left shot, no good. Saxons rebound. That was a contested shot. See, Marshall's not getting very many uncontested shots against this man-to-man -man defense. <laughs> down, down low along the baseline and a beautiful move. Chris Young just dodging a Marshall defender like a cone in the parking lot in the driver's head course. Yeah, he faked him out of his uh, uh, clothing. Uh, yeah, 78-34. Saxon's coming up on breaking that 80-point barrier, which I'm sure has got to be the first time this year. Well, I wish I'd been keeping track of turnovers. Well, I guess I am. I'll run out of room, though. Down low, Haynes puts one up from the right side, and it's in. 80 points for the Saxons now, 34 for the Marshall Redskins. You know, the Saxons have done this in the second half without their starters. I mean, their starters are in a little bit now, but I'm sure Coach Schil Schills would have a rebellion on his hand if he didn't play him some. Young blocks the shot. Saxons get a rebound this time. And another open man, and it's Young down low, and he collects an easy two points underneath. Well, that's eight for eight. He had missed yet, Coach. He's doing good. Kleinschmidt with the ball. Loose ball on the deck. Saxons pick it up this time. Kaiser brings it up. Dishes it off. Air ball over the top. Shot by Toburin doesn't fall. Marshall comes down quickly, tries to get a shot up. It goes over the basket, no good. Young gets the rebound, drives it down. Nice bounce pass to Sherry. Then Sherry over to Haynes, and now they lose the handle on it. Marshall comes up on the Saxon turnover. Stop the action. Timeout indicated for Marshall. We'll take a timeout on the radio with a score. Hastings 82, Marshall 34. Tire service right to the farm with their fleet service trucks. Jerry's Tire and Auto Service on 2nd Street in Lake Odessa. 
Marshall basketball on the inbounds. They go down low baseline. Kleinschmidt tries to make a move to the basket. Passes it off, and the shot is canned by Howard. Right side, about a 12-footer. And the Saxons come up floor now, 84 feet. Shot from in the lane is no good off the fingertips of Mike Williams, and Marshall gets the rebound, come down, set their offense. That's his first miss of the day, Mike Williams. Top of the key, Kleinschmidt has it. Free throw line jumper up, and no good. Getting the rebound, though, Marshall number 44, John Tucker. The putback can. 82-38. Got the uh, you know, second starters now on the bench. In the lane before the shot, a foul on Marshall. One thing about the Hastings bench is that these kids have played all uh, you know parts during the whole game, so it's not like putting on players that haven't played. Two shot foul coming up. Uh, we'll keep it right here. Sorry. And for the Saxons at the line, it's Williams. It's up and in. Or was it? Yes. No. Good. Good. There we go. Now it's on the scoreboard. Williams at the line for the second, and this one's no good. And Tucker gets the rebound for Marshall. When's the last time Hastings scored an 80-plus ball game? Check well, your record books. You bet. It's been a while. I know my boys played. They didn't score that many. 33. 33. Kleinschmidt takes a left side to layup into the scorebook. Saxons come down. Shot up no good. Putback shot is good by Mike Taburin. Oh, you got to like the way that Taburin kid finds the ball and puts it in the hoop. This is a nice team that the Saxons have put together now. No stoop, no stars, and a nice team. Yeah, they work well together. They're playing good. That was 34. Mike Howard cans it. Yeah, they, they're, they're playing good team basketball. There are no superstars, and they look good. Free throw line jumper, can that one. And they're good shooters. I, I, I'm amazed that they're shooting the ball as well as they have, because I didn't see this up until this year, but they're shooting the ball well. Kleinschmidt tries a triple, doesn't fall. Under a minute to play in the game. Saxons, well, they're just three points away from having a 90 point game. 33 seconds on the clock. They work it around, looking for that shot. They're still working together as a team, but you know, nobody's looking to take the shot. That was a nice pass. Oh, underneath. nice pass underneath to Giles. Giles missed the shot though. Put back from in front, in for Mike Williams. 89 to 42. Now Mike Williams is going to be in double figures off the bench tonight. They can get down low. Saxons get one last chance here. Yeah, they will. Five seconds up the floor. Three uh, left shot. Ten footer in. 90 points has been broken by the Saxons in this ball game tonight. On a 10 footer from the left side from Mike Williams. The final score: the Hastings Saxons 91. Marshall Redskins 42 in this Twin Valley Conference basketball game tonight. We'll have some post-game comments after this timeout here on WBCH Sports.